Hey everyone, so I've got three things I want to talk to you about today. Two of them, some very interesting news stories. One of them, I'm sure you've already seen headlines for, because uh, the news broke a few hours ago. And then uh, the last story is actually one that uh, a company has gone out of their way to fix what I feel is one of the major flaws of Nintendo Switch. A, a major flaw of the platform that's been there since day one. Uh, and we really haven't had any solid options to fix this flaw in some time. So credit to them uh, as we talk about their products here, not sponsored or anything. Actually, I just get to test out that claim for myself. So before we get into that, I want to invite on a special guest. Hey, you want to come on the show? Oh yeah, we're going to be giving away a hundred dollars in cash money to new subscribers in the month of January. Pretty exciting, right? You just gotta subscribe! Um... Are you paying for this or am I? Why don't you go take a seat? All right, folks. Uh, yeah, we're, we're giving away $100 in cash to new subscribers this month. We're also giving away three copies of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Head down to the description or the pinned comment and click on that viral sweep link to enter for that. All right, let's get right into the stories. And the first one, we're just going to get this out of the way because it's actually the most exciting news of the day. Uh, but also something you've probably already seen, and if you haven't, what's wrong with you? Why are you not following Nintendo's official accounts? We got a brand new trailer drop for Kirby and the Forgotten Land. And, well, you know what? I'm just going to let you watch that trailer. Now, if you were clever and skipped on the timestamp to the end to our next story, uh, I just want to remind everyone that March 25th is the date announced, which actually um, confirms part of a rumor we actually posted last week. So uh, maybe we got to pay a bit more attention to that rumor, which also said things like Fire Emblem Echoes is coming, Twilight Princess and or Wind Waker HD or both. One or both will be coming this year as well. So that's some stuff from that rumor, uh, but we won't revisit that at this time. We'll wait and see if the Fire Emblem stuff comes true and then maybe it'll be like, okay, maybe we should stop ignoring this the, this report we did. Anyways, uh, I wanna get into some sales data here uh, for the UK. Uh, so we have sales data in for the month of December and some really interesting notes come out of this data. For starters, the Xbox Series systems, so the S and X, actually beat out the PlayStation 5 in sales, which is really incredible when you... Which is really incredible um, when you consider PlayStation 5 had its second best month in sales in the UK ever. Uh, however, Switch actually topped both of them and was the top selling unit for the sale with a 6% sales increase month over month. Um, however, Switch software didn't actually perform that well. The top software that was on Switch was Just Dance 2022 at the number four spot where reportedly most of the sales were for Switch. Otherwise, it was um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe at number nine and Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl at number 10. Now, the very interesting aspect about that sales chart, of course, is that it does not include any digital sales. The official sales chart, by the way, for all of Europe came out for the eShop, uh, which includes more than just the UK, and it was like uh, for December, and I believe it was Mario Party Superstars at the top, 
Uh, so again, maybe more of the game, more of Nintendo's games will be in that top 10 if digital sales were included. Maybe digital sales are a really big deal in the UK. Uh, but yeah, that's the data we have for now. And I find it just to be fascinating. We updated you on Japan, figured we'd give you updates on the UK. Now, our last story is kind of a fun one. Uh, something I don't get to do very often because I get to actually test this story out. So I worked with a company a while back uh, that sent me a accessory for Nintendo Switch that is whatever. There's a billion of these accessories out there. And I made a claim with that accessory that they told me was untrue and most of you guys felt very uncomfortable with. Um, and that claim was, well, that you could have a grip for Switch that you could stick into docks. Um, and as you'll see, putting this in the OLED dock, it doesn't really go in. You gotta force it in, which bends the dock. People weren't comfortable with that. They thought it might scratch their switch, which I have a glass screen protector, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, and obviously it bent the dock, and it doesn't matter if it's on the old one or the new one, so the old dock with a Splatoon 2 skin. Obviously not a comfortable situation, and there's not a lot of really good grips out there um, that actually fix this problem um, because obviously grips fix one problem that's that the switch isn't very ergonomic but then if you can't put it in there whatever go with the satisfied grip right it's a better grip um, completely not dockable so anytime you want to play dock mode you gotta, you gotta pop it out and yeah it's kind of a pain in the butt and this is the one they sent me a long time ago it's made by Skull and Company well they sent me some new ones now these ones are particularly for switch OLED owners um, and I, they're they're, they're, they're two completely different concepts. Uh, so one is essentially this exact same style grip, except the claim on the back says, for all hand sizes and dock friendly, and it will fit the regular switch. We've shown in the past, there's a thing you unscrew on it to put a regular switch in, but we're not gonna worry about that part. I actually wanna test the claim live right now that this accessory does what they claim it does. Uh, we're not gonna show like all the greatest angles and, and, and all that this isn't a review of the product this is more so if this thing actually does what it does and if you can't tell it's um animal crossing themed in color you can see it's got that uh that, that neon um or pastel green and whatever so let's let's pop my switch oled out um from this grip um the one that i have been using and pop it into here now the claim with this one is that well first off let's i actually want to okay i'm not really the design looks very similar. It looks almost identical. I'm, I'm curious. So this one supposedly is dockable. That is the claim. So we are going to test that claim today. We're going to get this in there. We're going to put on the little clasp on the back that I lost on the other one because I have children. All right, there we go. So now let's, let's put this in and see if it bends. Does it just fall in? Hey, look at that. Uh, oh, there it goes. It's in. I was say I didn't really. Okay, so that's on the OLED dock. How about on the original? What's up? Is there something interfering? Ah, uh, that is not a comfortable. No, definitely not the original. It is not made for the original dock. Um, it's got this little nub back here. So I would say, well, you can obviously push it in. That is not intended for the original dock and have the same issue. But on this, uh, on on the OLED dock, it does just kind of fall right in. So. Okay, cool. They made a dockable grip. Obviously, this is the animal color thing, and I'm not going to go over all the features of the grip. Um, this has been covered in a prior video, but uh, that that's that's cool. So they made a dockable grip. What I'm actually curious in is this other style of grip they sent, because guys, you might say, Nate, how is this a major problem with Switch? Well, ergonomics is a major problem with Switch in general, has been a problem for quite some time, and anything that can solve that and yet give you full functionality of your, of your system, to me, matters. Uh, and right now, most grip options don't do that. Um, that's if you want to use your original Joy-Cons. You can obviously buy different Joy-Cons. So this one's a different style of case. This is kind of like one of those, um, like, you know, cheap cellophane sort of cases that you would put on, um, on like a cell phone, um, or silicon or whatever you would call it. Uh, and supposedly this is dockable as well. Um, <laughs> I'm not really reading the instructions. So I'm just going to kind of snap this in here. Like I would a phone. You kind of like, I don't know. Uh, what's interesting is that they do have these little buttons. Am I supposed to take these buttons out or leave them in? I think I'm supposed to leave these in for these corner buttons. So we're going to, I think we're supposed to put it in then like this. Kind of slide it in. So you kind of notch it in down like that. 
Obviously it has a very cheap feel to it, but um, the idea is once it's on, you shouldn't have to take it on. Um, so how do those, all right, all right, it's, my, my, it's in there, my switch isn't coming out. Um, all right. I mean, the buttons feel fine. Do they work? Let me press the silicon thing, turn it on. All right. Yeah, they work, all right, all right, so they work. It's a different kind of design. Um, so yeah, will this slide in? I presume so, but let's see. Does it get stuck? Let's hold this up. Hmm, works just fine. You know what's funny too? They, uh, they when they sent me these, and if it's in, th this one fits in, ooh, ooh, oh, no, no, if it's in the old dock without bending it. If it's in the old dock, you just gotta line it up right. All right, so this one does fit in both dock versions. Obviously both are better in the OLED dock. I think the interesting part about these grips, um, is that they sent me a video because they said putting it in the dock isn't the problem taking it out is and i wonder if what they were talking about was scratching the screen um and i would say if you have an a switch oled you're probably using the switch oled dock um and i'm not really sure that that's going to be a concern now, i have a glass screen protector again um i i really wouldn't worry about that i they, they showed some like really careful method where you put it in and then you got to be like oh but put your finger on the lip and then pull out and up like you don't need to be that careful this slides in really easy so yeah um i don't know kind of two different uh style of grips here uh that solve a problem that i think is fundamental with switcher that is offering you a more comfortable way to hold your original joy con switch uh but not have to take it out of the case to put it into the dock so i'll put links to where you can buy these down in the description for anyone interested um Obviously, you guys are probably hoping that uh, that title might be, we're fixing Joy-Con Drift or like whatever. That's that's something only Nintendo can do. But um, I am really excited by the prospect of these. Uh, and my quick initial thoughts are I'm not really a fan of the cellophane one. I'm going to go to uh, the other one. But some people might like this style. Uh, some people might even prefer it. Uh, I think it just already has too many fingerprints on it. Like it's too, too fingerprinty for me. Um, I'll probably stick with the new style of uh the script and i'll make sure i link to the proper one um that actually has the uh dockable feature on it because as i said doesn't work with the original dock but does work just fine the switch all that dock no bending no bowing no nothing just works like it. like it's not even on i like that all right folks well i am the robot jets from the center prime thank you so much for tuning in and i'll catch you in the next video